sputtering? Is that a good way of describing what's happening to Eurozone data right now? Um, yes, I think it probably is. Uh, there have been some signs that growth um, is no longer accelerating, at least in the hard data as well. Uh, and I think today's ZDW is just a continuation of, of that. What we should remember is that German growth is very, very strong. So a slowdown from this point would hardly be a surprise uh, and nothing to worry about very much. Also, that these measures of investor sentiment are, are, are pretty much a reflection of what has already happened. Investors are seeing the weakness in the soft data and responding to that. So we should beware a bit of double counting. Uh, that How does there. the data change the message that the ECB might want to peddle in next week's meeting? Um, well, it will certainly be more concerned by the, the, the hard data than the ZDW survey, but there have been indications from other more reliable business surveys um, that business sentiment is softening too. So it will need to take a very cautious um, approach. It will continue with this patient, prudent kind of language. We lost the easing bias last time. Do we, leave, do we lose anything else? Does the communication need to be tinkered with or not? This um, early? I think that's more likely to come in speeches actually mm. at, at this early stage. I think it will probably wait um, and, until the next meeting before it starts outlining what's likely to happen after September. It's, it's pledged to buy assets until September at 30 billion per month. Um, we think it's likely to taper after that. It will need to start signalling that sooner or later. But I think perhaps this softness in the data, which we expect to prove partly temporary, um, will, will prevent it from making any bold moves. Prognosticators like us, Jennifer, are moving beyond the QE programme to the first rate hike, when it's going to happen, how big it's going to be. We had Novotny stating a preference for a 20 basis point hike in time. Not everyone agrees. <laughs> it's an interesting debate, isn't it? Um, it is, yes. It's, it, it's very interesting. It's been so long uh, since ECB interest rates are increasing. It, it's very, very difficult to, to judge at what pace they would rise. I think that Novotny was probably looking at the, the, the very flat profile implied by financial markets and wanted to talk that up a little. But obviously uh, there's a, a lot of disagreement on the Governing Council about whether even they should be discussing that yet, yeah. let alone what, what pace the When will it be. happen and in what form? What's your best guess at this early stage? Um, I think that the, in terms of the pace of hikes, Novotny is probably roughly right and that mm. it's, it's more about wanting to hold off in signalling that than in disagreeing with, with a kind of 20 basis point hike to start off, off with. After all, the deposit rate's still in negative territory. I think the ECB will be quite keen to move out of that. But I don't think it's going to start hiking for a long time yet. We've pencilled in September 2019, which would allow that long pace of time between the end of asset purchases, which we expect to occur at the end of this year, and the first rate hike that the, the ECB has pledged will, will occur.